So Michael Mann, um, he had his incredible string of sort of like more art housey genre movies, but art housey genre movies in the eighties. You of course have ha- have Thief, The Keep, and Manhunter. Then he does Heat in ninety five. And, and Last of the Mohicans, I forgot. And Last of the Mohicans, right? Last of the Mohicans ninety two or ninety one. Yes, that's right. And then and then he, Heat in uh, Heat in ninety five. Is it? That's right. All right. He's gotten Pac- and Pacino is at full hoo ha nineties Pacino. Right. You get Send of the Woman, Send of a Woman, because Pacino people forget had fallen off. He had a lull, lull in his career in the in the sort of you know um, mid to late eighties. Um, his big comeback was Send of a Woman, Woman, which he won the Oscar for in ninety two. Um, I think that's literally where we get hoo ha from. But then Heat is almost more, even more of that than Son of a Woman was. Um, you know, you you would get the line like she had a great ass and all that stuff. That's just full '90s Pacino. And Insider is still that version, but but it feels like Man was like, "Ow, we need to like, it's time to like, we gotta like, we gotta do something different. We gotta bring you in a little bit here. We gotta sort of like not tone it down, but let's just sort of let's work on the edges a little bit more of this like of this new version of you that we're working on. Because it's such a shock to like go from '90s Al Pacino and then go back and watch like The Godfather. It's like mm-hmm. stunning. It's like two it's different stunning. performers. It's like two, it's different, two different, people. different performers. Yeah. And so this um, in the Insider, it feels like man was like, let's start. Let's all right. We now we've got this new version of Al. I think you're right. Let's that work on the he, details. A little I think bit. you're right that they obviously work on it yeah. results may vary sure, though because sure. Pacino's yelling a lot during the flick he's still yelling a yes, lot yes but you're not wrong I think the way they they sanded the edges a little bit was simply that the character is a different character it's not a cop or a military guy uh, it is a like passionate progressive journalist and so that's gonna that's gonna sort of that's gonna naturally sort of sand the edges a little bit and, and bring Pacino out a and nuance. Pacino and uh, man both liked and hung out with the real life journalists too so that might have helped Absolutely. a little bit in the calibration um, Al Pacino is really the only one besides Jeffrey Wigand played by Russell Crowe and really quickly Jeffrey Wigand played by Russell Crowe it's this is a very simple movie to summarize he formerly worked for the tobacco industry. He's a scientist. He becomes a whistleblower. Uh, they uh, He starts sort of asking the wrong questions. They fire him. And then he ends up being the one with Al Pacino's television, television producer, with Mike Wallace, the famous newscaster on 60 Minutes, played by Christopher Plummer brilliantly in this movie. Together, the three of them try to bring this story to the public. And the whole time, Al Pacino was like, why is this so hard? There is a public health crisis that very few people benefit from with a smoking gun and with a smoking gun being like it's for money yes and we don't care if they yes. die yes right. mm-hmm. we have a whistleblower yes. we have a paper trail this is a mm-hmm. public health crisis it is it literally it's a thing where like like 10 people benefit financially and so many people suffer what and I can't just like talk about it on television. Right. Like, what is the problem here? And that's why I think Al Pacino's character. I think this is his best. Is the best of the of the '90s Al Pacino hoo ha performances because it is like he's hoo haing in the face of this absurdity, and so he's like screaming. He's doing all of that hoo haing is not just sort of bluster and fun. And look, I love it for the bluster and fun of it. Mm-hmm. I love that. But if we're talking about the most refined of these performances, it's this one because it's now going against this uh, the, the absurdity of of mm-hmm. corporate takeover and the way that it turns the interests of the few against the interests of the many. 